Hi guys, welcome to this Web Design Touch quick tip. My name's Ian, and today we're going to have a really quick look at a simple way of versioning your graphics files. Now, versioning is something which we more often associate with code, and whether you're a developer or not, chances are you've at least visited GitHub. Now, it can of course be really useful to have a whole history of your documents, so that for whatever reason, you can revert back to previous versions. And there is a way, available to you right now for free, in which you can do just that. And that is through cloud storage solutions such as Dropbox. Now I can't take full credit for this. Uh, this was an idea submitted to me by a guy called Bruce Ackerman, who unfortunately couldn't find the time to uh, complete the tutorial himself. So I've taken over, uh, but uh, it's worth mentioning. Big thanks to Bruce. So anyway, I'm now gonna demonstrate uh, exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop and we're gonna quickly make uh, a demonstration file uh, just so that we can Oh, sorry, what am I doing? New file, just so we can uh, see exactly what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to write something. There we go. I'm going to make it legible. That will be useful, I suppose. And nice and big so we can see it. Okay. Now I'll save that as a PSD, and I'm going to save it to my Dropbox as a new file in a new folder, which I'll call demo. And I'm going to call it uh, something, PSD. There we go. Now, I'll continue working on it. I'm going to change the text color to some sort of red, burnt orange maybe. And I'm going to fill the back color with something. So I'm going to save that as well. I'm just going to pretend that this is some kind of ongoing project that I have. And as things change and develop, changes are made. And I save as I go along. Now, just closing Photoshop now uh, would mean obviously that I can't undo any of the changes I've made. Uh, but luckily, if I open my Dropbox folder and I have a look in demo, you can see my something PSD in the state that it was when we last saw it. And if I look in um, my Dropbox uh, menu here, I can browse this file online in the uh, in the cloud storage. Uh, and there it is, get rid of my last pass notification there. So there we have something PSD, that's how we recognize it. Now if I head over to more here, I can see we have previous versions. And indeed, Dropbox has taken a snapshot, as they describe it, of all the versions that I saved. So we have the version a minute ago, which was its initial state. That's when I added it to Dropbox. And then it had a secondary state and then uh, the current state that it's in, uh, like so. We'll preview it in its current state. And we'll see what it looked like in its initial state. Okay. So now all I have to do is select the particular file version I'm talking about, the one that I uh, particularly like, I miss, I want it back, and I can hit restore. Uh, now that's going to take it back to the original version online, and you can see here that the original version has been updated and restored to my Dropbox. Brilliant, simple as that. Uh, and of course, um, as of last week, I've been using Google Drive as well, which is Google's uh, uh, very similar sort of solution. It works in combination with Google Docs but effectively works exactly the same uh, so I can do something very similar to that and I'm going to demonstrate that as well so I'll save this uh, this time in my Google Drive uh, in a new folder which again I'll call demo uh, something PSD and once again I can change things Saving as I go along. And hit save. So that if I check out my Google Drive, you can see the most recent stage. And if I have a look at online at my Google Drive, when it finally kicks in, there we go. Here is my demo folder, and there is the file we're talking about. Uh, now it's only just uploaded of course, so it won't have had time to generate a thumbnail image just yet. 
but under file here you can see we can manage revisions and in a very similar fashion to Dropbox I have here a history of the revisions that I've made to this graphics file. Uh, now it's worth mentioning that uh, these are free services and as a result these services aren't unlimited they do take up a small amount of storage and they will only keep revision history for 30 days uh, unless you subscribe to a more advanced membership on, on either service uh, but in any case for short term while you're working on uh, projects uh, it's an extremely useful way of uh, keeping a, uh, a simple revision history okay that's it thanks for watching hope you find that useful Thank <laughs> you.